Good morning, everyone. B period Eugene Bear, one word. Friday morning. Hot, hot coffee. That'll make Christy happy. So hot, it's hot to my lips when I put my cup up. Light. Let there be light. God spoke, and the light was good. We're going to talk about light, the good light, the truthful light, the glory light, the light of life. And often I tell you, read and study Ephesians and Colossians together. So I'm going to go directly to Colossians, read two verses Back up to Ephesians, the fifth chapter, on the word light. A total of six times. Two times beyond locked-in major doctrine of four. See, I teach four tools, of which three are mechanical, to find truth in the word, and the fourth is the peace and the witness of the Holy Spirit of truth within your heart mind or mind heart, your spirit soul in your mind, in your head. Colossians 1, 12 and 13. Give thanks unto El Father instead of the Father. El Father, which hath made us Meet in King James or worthy, has made us worthy to be partakers of the inheritance of the saint sons in light. This is good light, truth light, glory light. The light of eternal life. 13. Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom or the heavenly kingdom of his dear Son. And we know that the Son is the Lord Jesus Christ anointed. That's what Christ means, anointed. He's the Messiah Christ anointed sent Son or the sent one. And we believe that God our Father sent his son, son became 100% man, the 100% man is the cup or the vessel, the host for spirit word, El Father, was in the son. Okay, there's the two verses, and I go back to verse 12, that's the finish line, giving thanks unto El Father, which hath made us worthy to be partakers of the inheritance. Last study was on inheritance three times in the first chapter of Ephesians. Here's the fourth time for locked in major doctrine, first chapter of Colossians. The inheritance of the saint sons, not just saints, saint sons mature, a placing a son, a placing a son, a saint son. Saint sons in light, in the good light, in the pure light, in the glory light, in the truth light. All right, now we're going to go back to Ephesians, four minutes, 11 seconds. And we're going to read in Ephesians fifth chapter. I'm a little hoarse, I don't know why. <laughs> Beginning at the fifth verse. 5-5, five, five. for this you know, that no whoremonger or unclean person or covetous man who is an idolater hath any inheritance. There's the fifth or the fourth time you find inheritance in Ephesians, and you find it one more time over in Colossians. In fact, I just read it in Colossians, okay, for four times locked in major doctrine. Here or fifth time, three, 
one and five, fifth time. Okay, inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. And that kingdom is a kingdom of light. Okay, I read on verse six. Let no man deceive you in King James. There are a whole bunch of let no man smooth talk you, trick you, or deceive you. With vain words, falsehood lies, vain. Thou shalt not take the Lord's name in vain. It's not a matter of profane swearing. Vain there in the Hebrew is a greater emphasis. Do not connect by name with a falsehood or a lie in vain to vanity. All right. Uh, for because of these things cometh the wrath of God on the children or the sons of disobedience. Be not ye, King James, be not ye, therefore partakers with them. For ye were sometimes darkness, but now ye are light in the Lord. Walk as saint sons of light. I just read light twice right there. We're going for three more times. And the sixth time was the finish line where I read over in Colossians. Colossians 1, 12, and 13. I read on Ephesians 5, 9. For the fruit of the Spirit, dash I-T, the body of which the Lord is the head, is an it. It's spirit. It's not a bride. It's it. Israel is the bride. A wife divorced and reinstated and allowed to wear pure white again. That's over in Revelation. Verse 9, for the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness, the scepter, the order of Melchizedek, and the scepter of the Lord's kingdom. He's a king, Lord, and great high priest forever, but the scepter is right or righteousness the right ways of God, the righteousness of the God, goodness and righteousness and truth. Spirit word is truth. What is truth? The spirit word is truth. The spirit is truth. I believe that's in 2 John. The spirit is truth. What is truth? The spirit. All right. The will and plan of God is truth. Light is truth. Light is good, and it got divided from darkness when it was spoken of in Genesis. Let there be light. God saw that the light was good, and he divided the light from darkness. And that's what we're talking about here. Coming out of darkness, being wise, coming into the wisdom of the light of God, the truth of God. Eight minutes, I read on. Proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. In this Lord is king, he's head, great high priest. His order is the righteous scepter of his kingdom of light, heavenly kingdom. All right. We come, become light beings so we can, similar to angels, so we can walk in to the immortality or the eternal life dwelling in the light unapproachable by flesh and blood. But once we become crossover from laying down the flesh body in this life and our spirit souls cross over, take on our new glorified bodies, we are light beings that can walk into the light, into the household of God, sit down at the table of God and commune in fellowship with our God who is light, glory light brighter than the noonday sun. That was a whole lot right there. Verse 11, And having no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them, for it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. Third time. 
For whosoever doeth make us manifest is the light. And the Lord Jesus Christ said, I am the light of the world. 14. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the living dead ones, not dead from the grave dust, but you walk and live amongst the living dead ones, and you are a light to them. Okay. The living dead ones, and Christ shall give thee light. And the sixth time we find light is in Colossians 1, 12 through 13. The light heavenly kingdom. So that's why I often say we study Colossians condensed four chapters with Ephesians expanded six chapters. Last two verses here, 10 minutes, 11 minutes. 14 again. Wherefore he saith, awake, awake, awake. You find awake in Romans also. I'm in Ephesians 5.14. See then that ye awake, uh, ye walk. <laughs> 14. Wherefore he saith, awake, thou that sleepest, and arise from the living dead ones, and Christ shall give thee light. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but spiritually understand what the will of the Lord is. And you can read on for the next, or to the end, or to where it says, be in, subject to one another, or submit yourselves to your husbands, or you submit yourselves one to another in the fear of the Lord. Verse 21. I love you. Eugene Bear. Are you period Eugene Bear on YouTube? Tell two friends. Let's grow the truth of the word of God. I love you. Spirit teacher, truth teacher. Bye.